Blue Origin is without a doubt one of the biggest names in the space industry, often seen as SpaceX's top competitor. However, while SpaceX has been making headlines with groundbreaking achievements and record-breaking launches, Blue Origin seems to constantly struggle with delays and setbacks. Once again, the company is in the news for a similar reason. They were set to launch the highly anticipated NS-27 mission, but as we've seen before, a problem popped up that they couldn't solve in time. In this video, we'll dive into what went wrong with this critical mission and discuss how it impacts Blue Origin's future. Blue Origin was preparing to launch the NS-27 mission, which was particularly important because it aimed to demonstrate the improvements made to the new Shepard system, positioning Blue Origin for future manned and unmanned missions. However, on October 7th, they were forced to scrub this highly anticipated mission due to technical issues with the new Shepard rocket. The uncrewed mission, which was scheduled to launch from Blue Origin's West Texas site, encountered a problem that fell outside the available launch window. Blue Origin's team is currently not sure about the issue, and no new launch date has been announced yet. This mission was very important as it marked the debut of the second human-rated New Shepard vehicle. The mission would have carried 12 payloads, including two advanced sensors meant for lunar surface operations, navigation systems for Blue Origin's future projects, and student-designed postcards as part of Blue Origin's educational outreach program. One might ask why SpaceX and Blue Origin, despite having similar beginnings and founders, Musk and Jeff Bezos, have had such different trajectories. Both Musk and Bezos are visionary entrepreneurs with immense resources, yet SpaceX has been continuously making headlines for record-breaking achievements, while Blue Origin is often associated with delays and setbacks. The difference might come down to strategy and execution. Musk has always pushed SpaceX to move fast, taking risks and focusing on rapid development, often learning from failures. On the other hand, Blue Origin has adopted a much more cautious and secretive approach. While this allows for more thorough testing, it often results in slower progress. Musk has always liked to test and improve what he's developing constantly. SpaceX's approach is all about pushing out prototypes quickly, learning from failures, and improving fast. The Starship is a perfect example of this. It's already flown four times, even though some flights weren't perfect. They just keep testing, fixing issues, and moving forward. On the other hand, Blue Origin takes things much slower. The best example is their New Glenn rocket. While Starship has already flown multiple times, New Glenn hasn't even been tested yet. Blue Origin's slow and cautious pace means they're often left behind while SpaceX is already making big strides. However, both SpaceX and Blue Origin are now in a heated race to launch their respective rockets, Starship and New Glenn, in November. This competition isn't just about who gets off the launch pad first. The outcome of these missions will have a significant impact on both companies' futures. If SpaceX succeeds with the Starship, it will further solidify its position as a leader in reusable rocket technology and space exploration. For Blue Origin, a successful New Glenn flight will show that after years of development and delays, they are finally ready to compete with SpaceX and other big players in the industry. So how are these two companies preparing for this critical moment, and who is in a better position to win? Let's take a closer look. For SpaceX, this flight is all about advancing their goal of making rockets fully reusable. They have already achieved major milestones by landing Falcon 9 boosters, but now they are pushing the boundaries even further with Starship. SpaceX plans to catch the rocket mid-air using their giant Mechazilla arm, a move that could revolutionize how rockets are reused, making space travel cheaper and more efficient. In preparation for this November flight, SpaceX has moved its Flight 5 hardware, including Booster 12 and Ship 30, to the launch pad. These vehicles have already gone through a series of tests, including a fuel loading test that showed promising results. The next big step is the wet dress rehearsal, a critical test that simulates all the launch procedures except liftoff. This test is expected to happen soon, ahead of the actual launch date. The biggest hurdle SpaceX faces now isn't technical, it's regulatory. 
the FAA delayed their launch, which was initially planned for August or September, citing environmental concerns and changes to the mission. Some, including Musk, have hinted that the FAA might be slowing down SpaceX to give Blue Origin more time to catch up. Despite this delay, SpaceX seems much further along in their preparations compared to Blue Origin, and the Starship is nearly ready for liftoff. On the other hand, Blue Origin has a lot riding on this flight. The November launch will be their first attempt to reach orbit after nearly two decades of development. A successful mission would prove that Blue Origin is finally ready to compete at the highest level in the space industry. Blue Origin has made some progress recently. They conducted a hot fire test of New Glenn's second stage, with both engines firing for 15 seconds, generating a total of 356,000 pounds of thrust. This test was crucial for checking key systems, like thrust vector control and tank pressurization, but there is still much more to be done. The company has yet to stack New Glenn's rocket stages, and they need to fully test the seven BE-4 engines that will power the first stage. These engines were partially tested during ULA's Vulcan flight, but how they will perform on New Glenn remains unclear. While both SpaceX and Blue Origin are fiercely competing with each other, the FAA has been making their progress even more difficult, grounding SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket multiple times in recent months. The recent grounding of Falcon 9 was the result of a technical anomaly that occurred during a mission on September 28, 2024. During the deorbit burn of the rocket's second stage, there was a malfunction that caused the booster to land outside the designated safety zone in the Pacific Ocean. This violation of FAA safety standards immediately drew the attention of regulators, who grounded Falcon 9 to ensure public safety. This incident was the third time Falcon 9 was grounded in 2024 alone. While SpaceX's track record with the Falcon 9 has historically been impressive, with over 250 successful missions under its belt. However, the second stage of the rocket in particular has been a source of problems this year, showing that SpaceX may need to tighten its safety checks. Historically, the Falcon 9 rocket has been hailed for its reusability, marking a revolutionary shift in the space industry. Introduced in 2010, Falcon 9 made space launches more accessible by allowing the reuse of rocket boosters, which drastically reduced costs. This long-standing trust in Falcon 9 is why the recent technical issues have sparked so much concern within the space industry. Despite these concerns, the FAA has authorized Falcon 9 to return to flight for the launch of the European Space Agency's HERA mission. This approval, however, comes with some caveats. The FAA has only cleared Falcon 9 for this one mission, with the key factor being that HERA's second stage won't re-enter Earth's atmosphere thereby mitigating the risks associated with the previous incidents. Other missions that involve second-stage re-entry burns are still on hold until SpaceX provides further assurances about safety improvements. In 2024 alone, the FAA fined SpaceX $633,000 for violating safety regulations on two different missions, and tension between the company and the FAA has been escalating. This has led to public disputes, with SpaceX CEO Musk calling for FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker's resignation. The recent delays have also affected SpaceX's larger ambitions, including its highly anticipated Starship launch, which was postponed after the FAA requested additional sonic boom analysis. One of the significant questions raised by SpaceX's recent setbacks is whether the company is pushing itself too hard and too fast. SpaceX has made its name by rapidly increasing its launch cadence, conducting multiple flights every month and setting ambitious goals for expanding space access. However, with the frequency of launches, the risks also increase, as evidenced by recent technical anomalies that have grounded some of their rockets. In 2021, SpaceX achieved a record 31 launches, nearly doubling that number the following year with 61 orbital missions in 2022. By 2023, the company shattered its previous record with an astounding 96 launches, representing 43% of all global orbital launches that year. In 2024, SpaceX is on track to exceed even that, 
with 67 launches completed by mid-year and aiming for as many as 135 launches by the year's end. Although SpaceX's advancements have been revolutionary, achieving such high launch numbers comes with risks. With frequent flights, there's increased pressure on operational teams, rockets, and launch infrastructure. Musk, however, is thinking even bigger. He has publicly discussed the goal of launching 1,000 rockets per year in the future. This idea might seem extreme, but it ties into SpaceX's broader mission of making space travel as routine as airline flights. Achieving 1,000 launches annually would mean sending up an average of almost three rockets every day, a pace that no space organization has ever approached. To put this into perspective, before SpaceX came onto the scene, no space agency or private company had launched more than a few dozen missions annually. For example, in the peak of its operations, NASA averaged fewer than 30 launches per year. In contrast, SpaceX has drastically changed the landscape, launching 31 rockets in 2021, 61 in 2022. In 2019, Musk set a target to land humans on Mars by 2022. And without a doubt, SpaceX could have achieved this goal. However, the regulatory environment in the U.S., particularly with the FAA, has been a persistent roadblock. One of the biggest frustrations for SpaceX has been the paperwork and environmental reviews demanded by the FAA. In America, it often feels like paperwork takes longer than building a rocket. For example, after the first Starship test flight in April 2023, it took almost six months before the FAA cleared SpaceX for its second launch. This delay was largely due to the investigation into the significant debris and damage caused by the first flight, which included an explosion that spread ash and debris miles away from the launch site. The FAA required SpaceX to implement 63 corrective actions before issuing a new license. This prolonged process delayed subsequent flights, with the second test flight occurring in late 2023. The timeline between subsequent flights shortened slightly. From the second flight to the third, it took approximately 117 days, showing some improvement in turnaround time. However, the FAA's regulatory process has still posed significant delays, particularly due to environmental and safety assessments. For instance, the third test flight, which happened in March 2024, also saw SpaceX working on improving several systems before conducting the fourth test flight, which launched on June 6th. 2024, a little under three months later. Now it has been four months without a fifth flight, as SpaceX waits for approval from the FAA to proceed with its next launch. The delay in the fifth flight has been attributed to additional environmental and safety concerns raised by the FAA, including consultations with other agencies regarding the sonic boom and potential impacts on marine life. Musk has expressed his growing frustration with these delays, frequently taking to social media to criticize the FAA's regulatory approach. He has characterized many of the FAA's demands, such as the ongoing sonic boom analysis, as unnecessary and excessive. Musk has even suggested that the regulatory hurdles are slowing SpaceX's progress more than the technical challenges of building a space rocket. Musk expressed his frustration, saying, we will never get humanity to Mars if this continues. In response to these frustrations, there has been some movement in Congress. The FAA is reportedly working on introducing portfolio licenses that would allow companies like SpaceX to secure approvals for multiple launches at once, streamlining the process and reducing delays. However, such changes are still in development and Musk remains skeptical about whether they will be implemented in time to support SpaceX's tight schedules, especially considering his goal of sending humans to Mars. If you've watched this far, it means you are one of our loyal viewers and I've got something special just for you. We have highly realistic Starship models available on eBay, exclusively for our dedicated fans. Head to the link in the description and grab your own model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.